Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to continue our companion AI and the thing that I said that I was going to do um, is basically add some kind of flanking system to our enemies. So like uh, when I shown in the last video when we play, uh, the enemies are going to find us and then they're going to start shooting us. But the thing is they're kind of shooting against the walls. Um, so you want to uh, enable them to kind of flank around this obstacle so we can get into the right position to shoot at us. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to start by going to the enemy AI blueprint. And I think I'm going to try and um, make it so when they shoot, uh, they are going to cast the reactor. So if it's uh, the player with the companion AI and the rest of the cast fail is basically, well, we hit the target um, that is not one of these. So if there is something blocking the shot, they're going to try and move towards their target. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and move um, the way I move to. Uh, the pawn is going to be self. The, and the target actor is just going to be their current target. So they are just going to move um, to the target actor. And if one of these becomes true, meaning uh, that we hit one of our targets, I'm going to want to uh, stop the movement. So if they, they start walking towards our, the target, and if they actually, on the way there, they get the successful target, they are going to stop the movement. So I'm just going to go over here and stop movement immediately. I guess I can, uh, I think there was a better one called stop active movement, there you go. So if we do this, uh, they're going to just stop moving. So I'm going to compile and save, and we can see how that looks. So you can see that they're moving around, they are shooting at us. Now if I hide, you can see that he's moving. And... Okay, because now we have a shot on my companion, he's going to be shooting at him. But I'm going to try and move over here. Oh, this is uh, something interesting. Our AI companion stops following us if he, got, if he gets a target, which I possibly do not want. So let me go into our companion AI blueprint and he's gonna fire a target if he has a target but I kind of want him to continue move towards the player or maybe I don't I'm not sure so let's think about this so if we were in an actual game situation uh, if we start off a conflict we are probably gonna want to move around and you know flank the enemies and leave our companion AI to kind of um, you know, kill the, the enemies there and st leave them to be distracted while we move around. So when once uh, everyone is dead and he has no target, he's just going to come back and follow us. And we kind of don't want our own AI to try and find a target uh, to shoot. We probably just... Um, I'm not sure. We probably just don't want him to shoot at all if he doesn't have a line of sight. Because if he's our companion, we don't want him to be looking for trouble. We want him to follow us. And that's what we want, basically. Uh, but you can already see that the AI kind of moves towards their target until they get a line of sight. And they're kind of going to turn to the AI com companion. That's uh, why I kind of want... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go over here and delete our companion. So I can see how this looks like when they are just trying to fight us. There you go. So each, they are just going to move. They are shooting at me. And now if I hide, they are going to try and come for us. And continue shooting. Okay. So as you can see, they are around. There's something funky that I'm trying to see. There's something, I, I can't really see what yet, but there's kind of something wrong. That's probably because they are just 
always facing me independent of where I am. I probably do not want that. Uh, so I'm probably um, going to try and find a way for them not to face their target when they are moving, uh, when they are moving, basically. So I think I have a way to do that. Let's find our event tick. And this is where to check the difference. This is where to find a rotation. So I probably do not want to do this. If uh, we get their current movement speed, and I'm just going to get their walk speed. Um, and I'm just going to say, well, if you are, I guess, uh, bigger than 100 on your movement speed, I do not want you to, um, sh uh, like, face me. So I only want you to face me when you are uh, slower than 100, or basically you are stopped. So let's just see how this looks. So just going to be moving around. They're going to start shooting me. And I think I did this wrong. Oh yeah, I did this wrong because... Um, let's just say I only want them to face me when their movement is equal to zero. Let's just make that. That should be right. That's weird. Uh, it's because I don't know why is it not returning true. Aren't they stopped? Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm getting the max walk speed. That's basically I'm basically getting a default value of their speed. I'm not actually getting their actual speed. No, this was dumb. So just go to the... Um, um, just right click on the graph and get velocity. I was wondering why it was, wasn't that working. Just let, get the length of the vector length of this and basically drag and equal again and you know if it's equal to zero then we want them to face the target. Now this should work. Um, let's see. So he's shooting at us and he's, you know, they are kind of moving and facing us. So now if I do this and I hide, they are no longer trying to face me. They are kind of moving, moving much more naturally. But one thing that they're doing is that they are still shooting. If they're not seeing us, I'm not going to make them shoot. Uh, so let's just check over here. Mm. So if they do have a target, I'm probably going to do the same check. So if they're moving, uh, I'm not going to make them shoot. Actually, that probably doesn't work. But we can just try it. So let's just go back over here. I'm just going to copy this. Control C and Control V. And if this is equal to zero, I'm going to do a branch. Uh, over here at the fire target, don't forget where we are, over to the line trace after we check that we have a target. I'm going to also check if, well, if we are um, not moving, I am going to shoot. That means if I'm moving, I'm not going to shoot. So let's compile this and play. So you can see that they are shooting us, they are stopped. So now I'm going to go over here, I'm going to hide. And you can see that he stops firing. Now let's see when he gets back the line of sight, he is going to continue firing. And that's exactly what we want. Now I'm wondering why is this AI not shooting at me? Okay, now he's shooting. He was probably just getting into position because, uh, you know, there he was complete, completing a movement that he, he got ordered. But as you can see now, they are shooting me when they see me. When they don't, they're going to try and find a flank to get me. And they're going to shoot me. Again. And they're going to stop firing when they can't see me. And now I can guess we can probably get our companion AI back in here. And we can play. So the companion is going to follow me around. 
now he's gonna get shot and they are going to kind of kill each other but now the AI is trying to get me and now they're gonna start moving the other AI is you know trying to kill my companion now the thing is because my companion is always standing still obviously one of them are dying because imagine in a real game what would happen is like me and my companion will be like facing I don't know 20 enemies and my companion will obviously be a little bit more powerful so we will kill a couple so imagine that that guy over there just died the, imagine these both died the companion will kind of go and try and uh, you know find my location again and accompany me and then we'll go over here and we'll find more enemies and etc so what I'm gonna do in the next video uh, I'm gonna start adding damage so I'm gonna make the bots or the enemies a little bit easier to kill and I'm going to buff uh, my companion I'm basically just gonna be immortal because I'm not evaluating my gameplay I'm doing AI more specifically so I'm just gonna make my companion more buff and a little bit more harder to kill and I'm gonna make the enemies easier to be killed so we can go around and try and find new enemies to kill so basically what I'm gonna do in the next video I'm gonna create a little bit of a re responding system for our AI and um, uh, handling damage and you know dying and that stuff so I hope this helped um, it was actually quite easy to set up I thought it would be harder but um, if you guys have anything that you didn't understand or uh, you want me to you know do something with the series that you are difficulty resolving on your own just let me know as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye